Hey everybody and welcome to an update video for Darkest Dungeon 2. We have some exciting news. We have a release date for 1.0 of the game. So this video we're going to be covering some of the really cool, there's a lot of news today that we're going to cover and just talk about some of that stuff going on. If you are interested in Darkest Dungeon 2, if you have been following it since its inception from October of 2021, we're releasing early access, or if you're just getting into it right now and you're just finally getting ready to get excited about buying the game, um, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. I post all sorts of videos on it, whether it's news, funny clips, let's plays, live streams, VODs, etc. I'm always posting content about Darkest Dungeon 2, so this is a great place to be if you want to stay up to date as we get to that 1.0 release, which, as you can see on the screen, is May 8th. So this was just posted today. Darkest Dungeon 2 releases into 1.0 on May the 8th. So it's coming up, y'all. It's getting here. So we actually have a release date finally. No more, hopefully no more pushes. I would assume that they wouldn't put this date out if there wasn't pretty good confirmation from their end that they have everything they need to do to get this game fully released by that time. It's exciting. It's a little bit bittersweet for me because I've been loving all these updates, but we still have a couple months left before this is ready to go. So uh, definitely excited to be a part of this. So let's get into this a little bit and then we'll talk about some of the other things that are going on as well. We are excited to announce that Darkest Dungeon 2 will come, uh, will complete its early access run on the Epic Games Store and release in 1.0 on Epic and Steam. So if you are one of the people that has been holding off because you don't care for the Epic Games Store for whatever reason, now your time is coming, all right? You're, you're ready to go. Get sh make sure you go wishlist the game on Steam. It helps the devs out loads um, and gets the game kind of hyped up, and we want to get that hype going. So get ready for it. May 8th on Steam and on Epic if you're okay with that as well. All of us at Red Hook cannot wait to get the PC 1.0 version into your hands and tell them we have a few major updates to undertake before our May 8th release, including a big one very soon so exciting stuff coming still we have quite a few more updates i'm assuming there's probably gonna be i, I don't know we're gonna have to figure out what it is they, they we still have a little bit of a roadmap there may be some things that don't make it until 1.0 i'm not sure if they're planning some kind of updates after 1.0 which is something that i believe they did with darkest dungeon one as well i'm not sure but maybe they did um you know that aren't dlcs but actually core content but at least all the core content is going to be there in the meantime, you can check out a free demo we're releasing today on Epic and Steam for the duration of Steam Next Fest, February 6th to 13th. So if you're interested in checking out the game and you want to get a little bit of hands on time with it, now's the time to do it. As of today, as of right now, it is available on Steam. All right. In fact, if I go over to Steam, you can see it here. Download Darkest Dungeon 2 demo. It is live. It is ready to go. So definitely something that you want to check out. Um, the demo will allow you to test the metal of the four starting heroes through one full region, challenging them to contend with distinct enemy factions and the rigors of survival. So if you are unaware of what that means, it means you're, you're going to be limited to the four starting heroes, which is the Man at Arms, the Highwayman, the Grave Robber, and the Plague Doctor. It is a completely viable team. It'll allow you to get through the first act, and it sounds like you're going to be able to go all the way through the first act, which means you'll be able to get to the Confession Boss. Um, I'm not going to spoil any of that if you don't want spoilers, but you will be able to do a full uh, area. Now, I will say it says you'll only be able to explore either the Sprawl, the City, or the Fetter, which are the farms. Those are two of the five available regions, so do keep in mind if you're playing the demo, you are getting a limited viewpoint of the game. This is just to get your feet wet, right? If you want to play the game fully, you're going to have to either go buy it on Epic and, and play it as it is now, or you're going to have to wait until the full release. Um, so just do keep that in mind. You're only getting two of the regions. I would say these are probably, these are some pretty good regions. The Sprawl is kind of like the one that they've been advertising since the very beginning. The initial trailer was in the Sprawl, uh, and the Fetter has some really, really good artwork as far as the uh, how gruesome the game can look and how kind of messed up the enemies can be. So very interesting. I'm assuming that the other things that will be included in there will be kind of the factions that are uh, synonymous across all the regions. So you'll probably get to see some of those and the cultists and things like that. So you will get a pretty good in-depth look at the game and four heroes. So a good idea of at least if it's something that you're interested in. Do please note that no progression will be saved. So you're not gonna be able to like progress in the demo and then buy the game and get that progression. This is just a demo and it's only through the 13th. It's free to play, but as soon as the 13th is over, I'm assuming you will no longer have access to the demo. Uh, so if you wanna play it, now is your time to do this. We'll also be supporting this exciting event with live streams on 
on Steam featuring members of the Red Hook team. So we have a Q&A coming up tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time, and we have a gameplay stream coming up on the 8th uh, at 1 p.m. Pacific time. You can see that information here. I'll make sure that the link to this is in the description. Um, Let's see, actually, let's see, who does it have here? Uh, 11 a.m., let's sit down with creative director Chris Barusa and dire uh, design director Tyler Sigmund. Chris and Tyler are the co-founders of Red Hook Studios and the co-creators of Darkest Dungeon, so they are, everything Darkest Dungeon is from them, so it's a great team to be able to get their questions in. Uh, there was a form that was recently posted, so people have been submitting questions, so there'll probably be some really good ones, hopefully some funny ones as well, and uh, they'll be live, so you'll be more than welcome to ask them questions live as well, I assume, and then the next day, gameplay live stream meet members of the red hook team and see what's in store on this roguelike road trip of the damned it's an interesting use of vocabulary there i have not i don't know who's going to be doing the gameplay side of things i have some assumptions but i'm not going to say so we'll, we'll, it says meet members i'm assuming it'll be some different members of the team some of their design team probably maybe their their community community team and uh yeah we'll go from there uh do make sure to go wish list the game if you're interested in it it helps them out a lot gets the, the hype generating and all that fun stuff so yeah very very exciting news here uh lots of really cool stuff we are we're getting there now we've got a few more updates to go and then the game the game is going to be here it's going to be 1.0 release so i know a lot of people have been waiting they've been like oh is it going to happen we did have that initial pushback from the february date so it was going to come out in february initially but i think for good reason it's been pushed back the game is still progressing has a long way to go i think but i think we're getting there we're getting to that end game stuff so very exciting information here so again if you are interested in darkest dungeon 2 updates news gameplay guides etc definitely please do consider subscribing to the channel we are so close to 1000 subs and i would love to kind of be able to be 1000 subs before the full game releases so we can just kick off right into this content creation journey and get going into making all sorts of fun darkest dungeon 2 content for everybody so thank you very much for the support and uh, definitely check out all this information i will leave descriptions or information in the description and I'll catch you all in the next video.